Hello, my name is Mrs Moss. I'm one of the careers team at Framwell Gate School Durham and I'm here to talk to you about our sixth form internship programme, which is an enrichment activity um, on offer for our year 12 uh, sixth form students. The internship programme has three strands. It focuses on developing leadership skills within students, exploring future career paths and also gaining experience in professional situations and in the workplace. The reason we like to offer the internship uh, programme to our students is that we know that Framwellgate students are capable of great things. The internship programme is designed to push students to look beyond just their studies and the, um, look towards their ambitions, but to also uh, make them into all well-rounded individuals uh, with good skills that will help them in the future and also set them apart uh, from other students with the same qualifications when it comes to uh, following their future routes either uh, in university or into employment. So the first of the three strands, leadership, experience and exploration, um, is leadership. And as part of the leadership strand, our interns will undertake um, the highest level of our student leadership award, um, which is a new award uh, to the school. As part of this, uh, students will undertake workshops in uh, different leadership skills and qualities. They will take on a leadership role, be that either within school or uh, an existing leadership responsibility that they have outside of school. And they will accredit the hours that they complete within that leadership role towards their final award. So different examples could be um, a student uh, running, starting a new project, for example, running a club um, with younger students or developing something around um, student life in the sixth form or it could be something external, for example, um, a young leadership role within a guiding or scouting organisation. The exploration strand of the internship is all about finding out more about a career path that you're interested in. We've looked at all sorts of different career paths in the past as part of the internship. For some students, it's uh, something quite concrete, like teaching or law or uh, medicine that they're interested in. For others, they may want to explore the professional world more generally or might want to look at a wider sector rather than a specific job. We work with a number of local businesses and organisations to support this. We've got really strong links with Northumbrian Water, with the manufacturing facility of 3M at Newton Aycliffe, and with local law firms, healthcare and education settings. We work with our alumni network and our careers network within school to source mentors um, and find professionals who are happy to work with our students to help them explore the different career paths available. We also support students um, to find extra and supercurricular activities that will help them to support their exploration, um, be that working with local universities, attending lectures um, or workshops within school, and um, taking part in competitions, etc. As part of the experience strand, our students would again work with the mentors that they've been assigned um, in local businesses and organisations. We would hope to get them visits uh, into business to spend some time there, support to find a work experience placement as part of the year 12 work experience provision within sixth form, in some cases, there might be an opportunity for a regular placement, for example, in uh, careers that require a certain level of work experience prior to application, like teaching, um, medicine, veterinary medicine. Um, we can arrange for students to take on a regular placement with a local organisation uh, through uh, day release from sixth form. The other experience that we'd hoped all in interns would take part in would be a project and presentation experience. Uh, that would be a project set for them by the mentors in the local organisations, um, a project linked to a, a real world situation that they could go away and research and present back to the organisation in a formal presentation uh, situation. As well as all of this, our students will uh, use the experience to develop transferable skills that will help them into whatever uh, situation it is they move on to post 18. How does the internship look on a pra practical level? So internship activities happen throughout year 12 um, from the middle of the autumn term onwards after the application process is complete. 
some of the experiences are arranged for the students. So we have uh, certain workshops uh, that are that are set that are arranged for, for either for all interns or for some interns, depending on their interests. And then you would have support and mentoring within school to arrange your own experiences that suit the areas that you are wanting to explore. It's very important that the internship is student led. It is led by your own action planning with mentoring. So you will work together with school staff to identify the activities that you would like to take part in and then to ensure that, um, that they're going ahead and going well. So it's really a project that students can make their own. Is an internship right for me? It's not necessarily right for all students, but what we are looking for is students who are ambitious and motivated. And that's not necessarily ambitious in terms of wanting the top jobs or um, going for the top grades academically. It's ambition in terms of wanting to do something beyond the basics, beyond just your A-level and B-Tech courses, um, and to do something that develops you as a person and will set you out from the crowd. We are looking for aspiring leaders and there's lots of different types of leadership. So even if you don't think I'm a leader in terms of um, I'm super confident or I want to be a world leader, um, leadership is really all about um, having a vision and inspiring others towards that vision and being prepared to take on responsibility and, and work hard towards that vision. Um, so if you think that you might be an aspiring leader in that sense, then the internship probably is a good option for you. It will, as I've mentioned, set you apart from the crowd in terms of everyone else who has the same qualifications as you. If you've got an internship um, experience on top of that and you're able to draw on those experiences and skills, then you will really be able to sell yourself when it comes to university and job applications. So if that's something that you want to be able to do, then an internship is a good route for you. You do also need to be able to manage your time and balance your workload because obviously you're taking on something else on top of um, your coursework. So you need to think about um, what time you can commit and um, make sure that you are fully committed both to your studies and to your, to your uh, internship programme and you will have uh, the support from school staff to help you with that. You can do an internship on top of other um, extracurricular and enrichment activities like an EPQ, for example. They often complement each other really well. And sometimes people even link their EPQ and their internship together on one particular topic. So the application process um, for an internship place is similar to a job application. Um, in early September of year 12, you will submit a CV and a covering letter. Um, your covering letter should respond to the person specification that you'll be provided with, um, which shows how you meet the skills and qualities that are required uh, for an intern. You'll also talk there about the kind of career path that you'll want to talk about um, and what you want to achieve through the programme, which will help us uh, to establish whether an internship is the right thing to help you. After that, there is a formal interview during which you'll do a presentation and you'll have um, questions and formal interview questions um, based around the person specification. So it is quite similar to a job application process. And the idea of that is to give you that experience of an application process. You can make your mistakes at this point. Um, you can have that experience of doing a formal interview so that when you get into the world of work or university, doing those applications um, isn't such a daunting task. So thank you very much. Um, if you need any more information about the internship programme, please don't hesitate to get in touch with me. And I look forward to reading the applications um, and working with all of the interns uh, that we appoint next year.